everybody. Hello. I want to tell you the story, the origin, the Star Spangled Banner. You all heard the song. Three times England tried to take possession of the American continent. First in the French and Indian War, 1755. Second time, 1755, 1777 and 76. And those years, they tried to take it from the 13 colonies. <coughs> and finally, the 13 colonies became the United States and became a separate sovereign country. But England wasn't happy with it. So they had another war in 1812. They brought a whole bunch of ships from England, attacked Washington, D.C., and the city was in chaos. The president and his wife had to flee. They were feeling pretty cocky about what they had accomplished in Washington, D.C., so they went for the second target, Boston, Massachusetts. But they had to first get past Fort McHenry. Sixteen ships with multiple cannons lined up on the shoreline. And during that time, there was a lawyer who was arranging for the negotiation of the swapping out prisoners. Who is it? Scott Key. I keep wanting to call him Lee, basically. Key. He was on board one of the ships. And he was negotiating a prisoner exchange for about a week. And finally, he's near the completion, and he's ready to go aboard the sh ashore, and the colonel of the ship says, you can't go. We're going to attack Fort McHenry. You can't do that. There's over a thousand men, women, children. Their, their families are in the fort. Too bad. We gave that country, and all, your country, an ultimatum. If you don't lower your colors by the time we are at start, we shall decimate the fort. And we will not stop our battle until you have lowered your colors. Francis Key paced back and forth the bridge of the deck of the ship. And the prisoners below, he told them what was going to happen to Fort McHenry and the consequences of the flag when it dropped. That we would no longer be a sovereign country. The people below decks prayed for intervention. Please bless that flag. First hour, ba bam, bam, bam. Second hour, ba bam, bam, bam. Everybody. Third hour, ba bam, bam, bam. Come on, bombs. Ba bam, bam, bam. Fourth hour, ba bam, bam, bam. Oh, I've got some good explosions here. Hour five, ba bam, bam, bam. Throughout the hours, hours night, the next day, the colonel comes to Key and says, We don't understand it. Exactly. After hours and hours concentrating our cannons on that flag, we can't understand. We've had direct hits and that flag's not going down. We don't understand why. Hour eight. Ba bam, bam, bam. Nine. Ba bam, bam, bam. The next day. Ba bam, bam, bam. Night, day, night. The following morning, the colonel comes to Key. We don't understand it. We've used up our ammunition. We cannot continue the battle. We're going to have to discontinue. Key is finally permitted to go on shore. There's three theories as to why that flag was still there. One is, boy, that fort was sure lucky. The second is that there's some testimonies that say that when Key went into the fort, that at the base of the flagpole were bodies. Patriots, fathers, sons, brothers, that when that flag would fall, they would lift that pole and hold it until the next explosions. And when those people died and dragged away, a new pair of hands, multiple hands, lifting on that flagpole. But a lot of people say the flag is too heavy. They wouldn't be able to have the strength to hold a big flagpole like that. The third theory is divine intervention. So the next time you attend a sport event, please consider these words, the history behind these words. Oh, say did you see at the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming 
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs, bam, 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 bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, does that star-stangled banner still wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave? That's a question we can ask ourselves, not just physically, but in all aspects. Oh, does that flag, does that star-spangled banner still wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you.